Welcome to Pion News, and today our topic, Westward Expansion. Now, if you're wondering, Westward Expansion is the 1800s movement by the United States to expand west. Often, pioneers followed along the Oregon Trail. With us today, we have a guest speaker. His name is Sam Bowie Chief, and he will inform us about Westward Expansion and what caused people to move west, what attracted them to the beautiful western areas and why they wanted to. Here's to you, Sam. <laughs> all right, all right, Sam. Do inform us on why people would expand west. Well, obviously, I know a lot about this subject. Yes. So, what I have found is that many of the pioneers who settled west came from the east, specifically, which I know is Ohio, <laughs> Indiana, Illinois, and New York. And I repeat, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, and New York. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Yes. Now, why did they come west? Well, what we have found, and me specifically in my studies, is that there was a push-pull factor. Yeah. Some things pulled them to the west, and some things pushed them to the west. Different for different cases, am I right? What were those push-pull factors? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what we're all wondering. So let me tell you. There were a lot of reasons, actually, why moving west sounded better to the pioneers than staying in the eastern colonies. Uh, one of those reasons was because um, they couldn't really find jobs. All right, here. Sam. Please do inform us about westward expansion as I take a brief water break. Will do. More people were moving from Europe into the eastern states, and this created a lot more crowded areas and a lot less job opportunities for them. Their pay went less, they didn't have as much land to buy, which was a big factor because a lot of these people uh, depended on farming to live, to make a living. And so the West provided that opportunity for more land that was a lot cheaper because it hadn't been settled yet, and just kind of an opportunity to get away from that factory setting that was developing in the East. But the biggest factor that pulled the pioneers west was the opportunity to buy land. Pioneers could purchase land for a small price uh, compared to what they would pay in the eastern states. It's very interesting. And if I am correct, there was a common view about the west as a land of opportunity. A land beyond compare. A land of glories. Indeed it was. It provided a fresh start for the settlers, really. Very a chance to start again. Alright. Yeah. Thank you. Well, Alright, well as we just learned from Sam Winchester, and mind you, is our group's thesis, is that the reason people wanted to move west is the, that there were overcrowding in eastern cities, there was a promise of good land in the west, and there was a desire to discover, and this drove people to move west. Alright, now with all this talk of westward expansion, some questions have to be proposed. First of all, we've been talking about straightforward citizens of the United States and westward travelers but in addition what did the Native Americans face what issues did they face here with us is an Indian herself to describe some difficulties that she had with westward expansion and the Oregon Trail thank you Alex you accused us of being savages any murders we committed were in the name of self-defense or if we felt threatened. You barged into our villages and you were shouting stuff about manifest destiny, whatever that means. You brought alcohol and you brought sickness to our people. You took our buffalo resources that we use for hide and for food. You brought sickness and you brought epidemics to our people, smallpox and everything. A common misconception along the trail is that Indians pose a great threat to the travelers, but in reality, Indians killed fewer than 400 travelers along the trail. More facts about Indians. <laughs> Fort Laramie Conference forced Indians to create a passage for immigrants that were moving west, and by so doing, restricted the Indians to specific areas. This was, of course, the first, first of our now modern Indian reservations. Greater threats to the travelers were in fact disease, one, malnutrition, lack of supplies, 
dying animals, that list is endless. And here to describe it to you and describe the dangers along the trail is a traveler herself. Disease killed many of us. We faced scorching heat, drought, and treacherous rivers. And bears. Now, relapse. Some facts. Disease along the trail killed almost 20,000 immigrants. Physically, they faced parching heat, drought, treacherous rivers, freezing, and starvation. Many travelers suffered from family debts, continuing while exhausted. Breakdown. Many only got through with sheer determination. The rough traveling on that road. <laughs> I'll tell you that. All right. Now, what kinds of people traveled on the Oregon Trail? And particularly, what age? What gender? Were they from the lower, middle, or upper class? What regions of the United States did they mainly come from? Were they families? Were they farmers? Were they religious re leaders? Were they political figures? That's some questions. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us here on Pion News. For further information about Westward Expansion, please join us in an in-class discussion about it this upcoming Wednesday. We will be discussing further expansion on Westward Expansion. <laughs>